Good morning, morning. guys. We're waiting for our coach. We're going on a day trip. Where are we going? Mama Gusto. We're actually going to Salamis. And then we're going to Mama Gusto. Yep, ready, whatever. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what's that? Morning, guys. <laughs> Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Here we are, waiting and waiting and waiting for the coach, and that is not our coach. Could this be the one? Could it be the bus? It's a two-way bus. That was not the right car. Unless we wanted to go on the German excursion. Yeah, we're not German, so we're going to wait for ours. Morning. Morning, sir. This was a cool bus. It's a cool bus? Yeah. Do you mean it's cold or do you mean it's cold? The first part of our trip took us from our hotel to the Famagusta border where we had to get through passport control. Do you know where we are? Cyprus. <laughs> yes, we are. They say that yes, we are So I become unprotected, the right of the best. You cannot go to the. Here we have arrived at Salamis, which is an ancient Greek city-state on the eastern coast of Cyprus. In the background here you can see the ancient marble columns of the gymnasium. It is red right here. I feel like I'm in a furnace. You're in a furnace. <laughs> But at least it's a nice place to know. Look around. This is Salamis. I had to take the photo opportunity in the middle of what was the gymnasium, of course. There's still some Greek writing on the floor here that's been really well preserved. We then walked past the ancient Roman baths. We walked back through the columns to get to the main attraction here, which is the amphitheatre. This would have hosted theatrical performances and gladiatorial contests. It had 50 rows of seats and could accommodate up to 1,500 spectators. The next part of our trip took us to St Barnabas's monastery. Where? Real dog. Where? You have me on? Oh yeah, I can see it. It's massive. Can't really miss that. Is it stuck in there or is it? The church here is the monastery of Saint Barnabas. St Barnabas was Jewish. Whilst receiving a religious education in Jerusalem, Barnabas witnessed some of the miracles of Jesus and took up the faith of Christ. Are you a bit too hot today? You're melting. Honey, I melted the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beautiful view. Yeah. Look at that view. 
he was made the Archbishop of Salamis, and when he returned to Cyprus he became a preacher, offering teachings about Jesus Christ. He intended to convert the Jewish community to Christianity, but he didn't have much success. Barnabas was arrested and imprisoned in Salamis, and the same night he was killed. His followers retrieved Barnabas and secretly buried him in a tomb. And this is the tomb we're entering now. Old lady. Lara Croft. This is where St Barnabas was finally laid to rest. Are you a bit warm, love? <laughs> You're not warm. Your hair tells me you're very warm. <laughs> you look so cute. You look like a baby, but I'm not. You look like my little baby. I don't want to be a baby. You want to be a big girl? Yeah. Look at me, my big girl. The last stop of our trip took us to Famagusta, a city on the east coast of Cyprus. What have you explored today, Lara Croft? Oh. Oh, wow. So we're in the ghost town, Famagusta. Yeah, Look around. The city was inhabited mainly by Greek Cypriots. In 1974, the Turkish army invaded Cyprus. The army took two days to occupy the city. They called it Operation Attila. Inhabitants began to flee, with the intention they would return back when the violence ended. They left with the clothes they had on their backs. The Turkish army began to fence off the southern quarter of Famagusta, creating a ghost town. In October 2020, they opened some streets to visitors, which is where we are now. The buildings have remained untouched since 1974. Whatever was left inside remains. Here you can see Verosha, a popular resort in Famagusta, where the rich and famous and many other tourists came for the golden beaches. These hotels still remain untouched to this day. We had dinner on the beach of Verosha. Are you going to eat all that how? <laughs> that, is, that is one big portion, Isla. <laughs> I have nothing. We have nothing. <laughs> nothing except for hummus. <laughs> oh, I don't know that is. Pickle trip. <laughs> Mayo. That's all right. Salad. <laughs> Pickle beetroot. No. I mean, I like beetroot. I don't like that either. That is the worst thing in the world. More oh, hummus than that, I'm rich. But that looks good. Ooh, it looks good. Are you eating my chips? Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> Famagusta is now a ghost town, frozen in time, surrounded by barbed wire. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on our trip with us. Thank you for watching.